hello welcome uh this is a demo of the online banking well, website and there are so many features you can do with this uh, website so first of all so this is just a demo interface so you can just click on accept cookies so this is a demo interface so we have the uh, this is the customer section and I have the admin section so I think I have the admin section here so this is the admin section okay now what can the let's start from the customer section in the customer section we have this so you can um, online payments you can take loan deposit schemes transfer money so you can see this is the website okay so this is how the website will look like so this is the fdl plan that is the fixed deposit scheme so in the fixed deposit scheme so a user can uh, subscribe for a package or uh, for a package and get return on investment okay and this is dps this is deposit pension scheme so you can see basic plan is $1,000 for 30 days. So it depends on how you configure it as the admin. Okay, so without further ado, let me just take you through what you really need to do. So as for the, and uh, this uh, has an email notification, an SMS notification, but I'll be, I'll be dealing with the email notification now. So from the customer section, I will try and register as the user so that I'm going to see the details in the admin section here and the admin also can uh, can deposit money for the user you can see this user now you can see has $5,300 in his wallet okay so and this is the account number now let's go to the user section let me register you click on sign up So once you sign up, so now let's see the name. So let me just register. Let me register this as. Let me the username. Uh, let me pick the username. Let me pick this username. Then also country is Nigeria. Then phone number. Let me just pick any phone number. So. Uh, so I'm going to show you in the admin section how you can enable SMS verification, email verification. But for now, we are working with email verification. So Nigeria, then city. So you can just pick a city. Zip code. Address. Let me just leave the address. Enter password. Let me just enter a password. Which password should I enter? Let me just enter. Okay, let me enter. Okay, then this is capture for security reasons, so it will prevent bots from registering on your site. So, so to prevent bots, so we click on agree, then click on sign up. So if there's not, if there's no problem about your registration, so you should receive. A code okay you can see you receive a code from switch bank okay you can see switch bank online digital banking system this is my own bank this is what I decided to call my own bank okay you can see a verification code has been sent to your email or large initiative at gmail.com please check so I'm going to go to my gmail account and check if actually it is sent you can see it is sent you can see switch bank verify so once you verify let's see click on verify so you can see this is a system generated to be a switch bank online everything is customized you can see switch bank online data banking system whenever you do any transaction deposits withdraw anything is going to give you an email notification you can see hello ahmed you can see this is my username and this is the code so just copy this code 
and copy it press it let me go here paste it here and click on submit and boom you have successfully verified you can see this is my account number this is my account number available balance is zero dollars i don't have anything so uh, this is the website your your referral link and what we need to do is if you go to deposits you won't be able to see anything because uh, as the admin have not activated uh, my wallet so that uh, the a user can deposit money inside so i'm going to show you in the admin section so once user click on deposits let me just click on deposits So if you click on deposit now, you, be, you, will be, you won't be able to select any payment method because I have not activated it. Okay, so you have not activated it. Now close. Now let's go to the admin section. So this is the admin section. Let's refresh this. So if you refresh this, there will be two users now. There will be two users. You can see this is the one I just registered on the initiative. You can see now is the, the account balance is zero point zero zero dollars. Now you can click on details of the customer. To see more details about the customer you can see total deposited every details about the customer is here now if i want to credit this customer i want to credit this customer let me see i want to add let me see fifty thousand dollars to this customer's account so what will i do just click on add or subtract balance so amounts let me just say i'm giving this customer fifty thousand dollars click on submit So, so now fifty thousand dollars has been added. You can see now. Let me go to the customer section. You can see initially I have zero dollar. Okay, zero dollar a year before. So let me just go to dashboard. Refresh it. Go to dashboard. You will see boom fifty thousand dollars is there. Fifty thousand dollars available balance. You can see now one transaction now this person can now do fdl dps now let me go to the admin section this is admin section here and if you want to do and this is kyc this know your customer now know your customer is available if any customer wants to transact on your, on your website so they have to <coughs> they have to fill a form so you can add to the form okay know your customer you can ask them no okay so kyc submitted okay this is for the user okay i'm going to the how is it kyc form so you can see the kyc form you can see the user has to include photo full name father's name mother's name if we need more you can just click on add more okay and to add more form to your to this place okay so if you don't need it you don't need to add more okay so you can see add more you can put it so if you don't need it just delete it okay so that's just it now uh, let me save this now this is the fdr okay fdr plans so you click on fdr plans that is fixed deposit plan okay so now this is the plan i enabled fixed deposit receipts you can see now let me add another for you to for you to see and the first one is bronze you can just say silver silver plan so interest rates so depending on if you want to give you don't want to give so let me choose one interest interval let me say um every 50 days log this the amount this person will uh will be able to do like this is the amount of days the, the money will be in your custody we just say 120 days minimum amount the person can deposit maybe two thousand dollars the maximum amount hundred thousand dollars you can see it has calculated it for you it means the user will get a minimum of twenty dollars to a maximum of one hundred dollars per 50 days so you click on add so once you add it so so you can see it's there and um, this is the uh where is it okay now this is the fdl plan so if i click on running so i can see the customer that, that have opted in 
for this service you can see this customer is, has opted in for this service you can see it's gone in two months from now the person will receive this so and um, let me just see uh, okay dps okay dps management so just let me click on dps plan that so that is deposit pension scheme so enabled so uh this person will get no interest okay one thousand dollars for every 30 days so this person wants to deposit so click on add new so let me see the plan i have before basic plan so intermediary or maybe um advance then just click on advance then installment interval maybe how many days every 30 days total installments um maybe this person wants to pay total installment or maybe twenty thousand then by installment this person is paying for that 30 day let me say one thousand interest rate of total deposit zero total deposit users profits so because if you don't have interest you don't have profit so click on add so you can put anything you want, like but i don't wish to give interest so that is just it. so is there this after matured after this you can see 1000 days for so this is just like a pension scheme pension scheme so like all these are pension pension insurance company this is how they work so if you see click on running dps so you can see the customer that have opted in for this service okay you can see no customers also opted in for this service now let me go to the customer section and uh, you can see this is the customer now let me try and um, purchase this fdl let me go to the fdl so you can see you need to complete kyc verification for this action you can see this so uh let me just disable this photo for now okay i don't want to put photo let me just disable photo for now i'm going to go to kyc form where is kyc form kyc form so you can see before the customer can uh, do any service so you are you need to get the information of that person okay this one is national id card so number national id number i can just disable this so click on save so now i can go to the customer section let me refresh this so you can see before the customer can do anything he or she has to submit the kyc form so full name, let me just say AD, other name, AD. So you click on submit. Now, so once this is done, so you can now go back to FDR. So everything is submitted. So FDR. Uh, I think he has completed this okay so we need to activate so we go to the admin section you can see this is the admin so i'm going to go to manage users all the, so kyc submitted let's see kyc submitted so you can see this person has submitted a kyc that is me that the you can see action so view kyc data you can view the kyc data of that person oh is an error here so let's see okay i think this is my data so i think this is my data so let's see <coughs> where is it details so you can see this is the details so kyc you can see kyc verification is all verified so i'm, I'm going to click on verified and click on save changes you can see so now i'm going to go back to the customer section so i'm going to refresh this okay so click on fdr so you should not ask for kyc again now you can see now we have silver plan bronze plan so when i click on apply now okay apply now so how, how much do i want to invest six thousand authorization method email so i'm going to get an email notification right away so submit so i'm going to go to email 
so you see that verify your OTP you can see please check your email to get a six digit OTP you can see now this OTP is just for security reasons so we go to the email I'm going to go to my email so you get an OTP so let me refresh this so you can see your account has been credited you can see this so look safe you can see this hello i made your account you can see transaction number fifty thousand dollars has been added to your account your coin balance is fifty thousand dollars switch bank you can see how it will be your account has been credited you can see this very awesome so otp so look safe so this is the otp so i'm going to copy this otp so i'm going to go back to the customer section i'll paste this otp click on verify so invalid token no i've already done that you have requested to invest in this fdr I'll click on confirm so you can see 7th of june till i can withdraw it you can see 7th of june so you can see it's running you can see three months from now that is when i can withdraw so i'm going to go back to the admin section so i'm going to go to uh deposits app uh, okay um let's see fdr i want an fdr so at, we should have received an email let me see if i have received an email again so let's see if i have received an email we can see fdr open successfully you can see look safe you can see you made your request for opening an fdr successfully your silver plan you can see switch bank online digital banking system you can see this is how you you get email notification for everything you do so you can see running profits per 50 days you can see it's running so you can add your payments gateways automatic payment gateways we have different payment gateways that you can add so you can see we have the blockchain you can add blockchain cash mall coinbase coin gate coin over 70 payment gateways water wave payer paper paper pay, pay stack pta perfect money result pay stripe postal vote pay you can see so if you want to add any payment just click on this edit okay and you can just add your payment details you can see your email it will be here just uh, the currency you want so you select the currency and you click this is your email you click on update setting and boom so the person will be the user will be able to be depositing money into your paypal account so that is just a simple way this is just an online banking system so this uh, is a very authentic um, banking uh, system so if you need more guide or more explanation to this you can contact me okay thank you very much you can contact me with the description in the, the link in the description below okay so my name is Ahmed Ogusoya and uh, I appreciate you for watching this video um, can you get back to me so if you need anything clarification or the software the script and everything or you want me to set it up for you so can you click on the link on the description below and i will be in touch with you thank you very much for watching i do hope you really enjoy this video and i do hope you really uh know how to how to do online banking it's very very easy this is very very easy very very easy online banking and you can start your own online banking system or you can build for clients and charge them a um, good amount of money. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ulusan Yamed.